beer. No beer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul Worrell. I'm founder and chief developer of Zonified. Today is Friday the 1st of June, um, I believe. Um, Friday, I thought I'd just give uh, a, a personal uh, note. Um, some years ago, I had a friend and um, we had dinner uh, just before uh, the Christmas season was about to begin and um, my friend was um, very ill and um, I was attending the dinner and um, you know, contributing to a conversation and we were having uh, a nice time. She was an extremely positive person, um, very well liked and um, uh, you know, very charitably orientated person, spent most of her life helping other people and um, uh, that positive attitude was still there as if there was no um, illness okay and um, I was very sensitive to that and because of her circumstance um, I'd been thinking about well what did I want from uh, my life and um, I'd done lots of research looking at motivational YouTube uh, channels and things like that and this was some years ago now um, I was still working at JP Morgan Chase and um, she asked me you know how progress uh, how I was progressing with this and um, uh, I came up with four key goals that were kind of permanent and I was going to have persisted on my fridge um, by my bed and uh, actually in, in in my wallet so so I would carry them around with me all the time so I thought I would tell you so this, 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 these are the objectives and in a way I've, I've kept them personal to myself um, but actually probably a thing I forgot was that uh, if you have objectives like this you really need to let people know that you have them otherwise other people can't help you achieve them okay so anyway I, I, I was really enthusiastic um, really positive uh, and, and so I read these four objectives out to her um, so the first one is uh, with my family I will be enjoying the following um, by 2018 which is, which is actually this year so the first goal is I will it be I will be enjoying sharing my success with family friends colleagues and my community okay the second one um, I will own my farm it's not really a farm but uh, it's a small holding but I will own my farm outright and have it in an ideal state of repair something I do struggle with is keeping uh, this place in a good state of repair third I will own a profitable software company highly valued by customers and employees alike um, that's had a lot of attention in the last few years and lastly I will be playing live in my blues band and have toured America so in summary again um, it's these four objectives on my fridge beside my bed in my wallet um, and I think about them every day uh, I'll, I will be enjoying sharing my success with family friends colleagues and my community I will uh, I will own the farm outright and have it in an an ideal state of repair I will own a profitable software company highly valued by customers and employees alike and 
most importantly, I will be playing live in my blues band and have toured America. Um, so I was really excited to tell this person that and, uh, and then I felt a bit guilty and I, I, I kind of, I don't know how I asked it um, and it seems strange now, but I said, what are your plans? And um, her answer was that she had one goal left, which was to live um, into the new year. And that was about 14 days away. And my friend died um, two days into the new year. So um, that was quite a dramatic experience. Um, as I said, this person was very positive, full of energy, even at that point. Um, most people probably might not have even uh, attended an invitation to a, a dinner party under those circumstances, right? It's quite profound. Um, that was some years ago, and I still have these goals, and I have to say they are extremely difficult to achieve. Um, you might spend time with one, um, but it then detracts from time spent on another. Um, you might feel you're doing really well with one, and then suddenly circumstances beyond your control mean that you're doing really terrible. Um, at the moment, I'm scoring myself on these, if it was between uh, 0 and 10, um, enjoying sharing success with family I would probably put that at a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 just circumstances are making that very difficult um, having uh, my farm in a good state of repair I would say a 3 um, I'm maintaining it um, but I'm not able to keep up with uh, some of the things that are going on. Um, a profitable software company, that has taken all of my time over the last few years. Um, that is proving very elusive. Uh, not necessarily the profitability, although you could say um, revenue was probably more important than profitability. Um, it is the case that I think that the customers that we have, the prospects that we have are very, are valuing us very highly. We're getting a lot of support. Um, I think on the employee side, because we haven't been able to commit to employing properly, people come and go. Um, you know, we have spent a number of years investing in our business and we it's hard to expect other people to join us um, and, and when they're not seeing the, the business evolve in the way that they'd like to employ them full time and employ them properly. Um, of course, other opportunities come along and, and they quickly move on. So employees um, is, is, is proving pretty difficult, but definitely customers and prospects think very highly of us. Um, but I would say after a few years, we're still not really a business. We're still just R&D. Um, now, last, and I would ask people to help me do this, um, but I'd like to be playing in my blues band. I don't have a blues band. I've never played in a band, <laughs> okay? It's just in the last 10 years, maybe a midlife crisis thing, I became very passionate about the history of music, particularly blues and rock, and um, uh, taught myself to play guitar. Um, I do play. I've got one particular person that... Um, uh, I like a guy called Otis Rush. Not many people know who he is. Um, and, um, and I've got absolutely nowhere near even playing live, let alone considering touring America. So um, uh, although I think I'm probably getting competent on the guitar, I'm finding that in some way I, I'm too shy or something to actually reach out, find some other people and make this band happen. So, um, and of course, touring America, possibly, <laughs> maybe, um, although the ICO is stopped, 
with the Zonify business, it might have been the case that if we had done the ICO, I might never have been able to even go to America to do the tour. Um, so in some ways, um, touring America with the Blues Band could be back on the cards as we have put a halt to our ICO. But anyway, um, won't go on any further. These go back in my wallet um, and every day I kind of think about them. And um, although lots of motivational speakers will say, and you will achieve these within a month, um, you know, etc. I will tell you, these have been in here quite a few years now. And um, sometimes uh, I'm doing well and other times I'm doing bad. So just those four simple uh, life objectives um, are incredibly difficult to achieve. Uh, so if you've got similar objectives, don't feel too bad. I can tell you I'm struggling with mine. Thanks very much.